Hey up, it's Steve from the old Yorkshire Geek. Uh, back with some more news about Andor this time. Star Wars news. Uh, it's there already. I couldn't be bothered faffing about. Uh, this is from Collider. Andor fans just got a first look at Season 2 at D23 Brazil. Uh, cool. Uh, but before we start reading this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share the videos. Drop a comment. Hit the notification bell if you subscribed already. Subscribe. Bye, bye, bye. Echo, echo. And all that stuff. Uh, check out the links in the description. Where, where the hell is it? Over there somewhere. Uh, down below or wherever the description is. What are you looking at? Uh, for various stuff, you know, merch, etc. Um, right, let's have a read of this. Uh, Chris McPherson at Collider um, reports. Uh, as I said in the previous video, which you might have watched or you might not have done, I don't know. Apologies for Michael Garibaldi there. I'm re-watching Babylon 5s for a video that I will do eventually. Right. We've just had the most unexpected first look at the second season of the most anticipated Star Wars series. Fans, maybe it is, I don't know. Fans attending this year's D23 Expo were treated to an exclusive first look at Andor Season 2, offering a tantalising glimpse into the next chapter of Diego Luna's Cassian Andor story. At the expo, fans could snap photos in front of a backdrop of featuring an image of Luna as Cassian Andor striding forward in a sleek black trench coat and looking pretty slick, if we do say so. And you do. Andor, which premiered on Disney Plus in 2022, was created by Tony Gilroy and serves as a prequel to Rogue One, a Star Wars story, a.k.a. Rogue One 2016, itself a prequel to the original Star Wars film from 1977. Luna reprises his role from Rogue One as Cassian Andor, a thief turned rebel spy, whose journey showcases the early days of the rebellion and his growing resentment toward the Galactic Empire. The first season followed Andor quite slowly, um, as he matured from a petty criminal who reluctantly gets involved in, a re in the rebellion against the Galactic Empire, uh, to a fully committed leader. With its more grounded, gritty and mature take on Star Wars, it was a massive hit. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was good. I enjoyed I liked Ando. A bit slow, but um, it was good. But I won't say it was a massive hit, um, because it wasn't. I think one of the le one of the least watched Star Wars shows, wasn't it? I'm sure it was. But anyway... The impressive cast of Andor also includes, although the, I think the viewing figures did go up uh, as the series went on, from what I've heard, I've not checked, so that's what I've heard, that the viewing figures actually went up, whereas most of them, the viewing figures dropped out for series as they, as they go on. But Andor, uh, through word of mouth and stuff like that, they actually got gained more viewers, uh, which is good. Which is, uh, might, That might be worth, uh, why they're saying it's a massive hit, but anyway, I don't know. Uh, the impressive cast of Andor also includes Kyle Soller as Cyril Khan, uh, Adria Arjona uh, as Bix Colleen, Stellan Skarsgård as Luthen Rail, Fiona Shaw as Marva Andor, uh, who was supposed to, I think, said the, the, the first F-bomb in Star Wars, but they decided against it. Although somebody did say shit in it. Um... Uh, Genevieve O'Reilly as Mon Mothma, Denise Goff as Dead Ramiro, Faye Mahasse as Velsartha, and Varadu Setu as uh, Kinta Sinta, I don't know, Kaz. For season two, Ben Mendelssohn reprising his role as Orson Krennic while, wheel, uh, Alan Tudyk, or Tudyk, whatever, however you pronounce it, it's an unfortunate surname, but anyway, is returning as the acerbic droid K2SO. Right, who's involved in making Ando? Uh, oh, is this the uh, thing that you can uh, take? A is this it? Is this the first look that they're talking about? Uh, it's just like a, a thing that you can have your photo taken in front of uh, while doing that. Oh, somebody will do that, won't they? <laughs> I bet there's got to be somebody that's there's a photo of that. Somebody doing the Vulcan salute. Bet there is. Uh, speaking in um, Portuguese. I don't speak Portuguese. Anyway, uh, mentioning Obi-Wan, obviously. Uh, something Obi-Wan, the Acolyte, and Ando. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Shall we, uh, you know what? Sod it. Right, let's copy it. <sighs> okay, maybe I'll do a translate. There we go. Go away. Translate post. I saw Obi-Wan, the Acolyte, but I didn't see Ando, says Good Nerd. Did I miss something? Uh, yes, you did. Um, anyway, there we go. 
Right, uh, Gilroy, the mastermind behind the series, will write the first three episodes. Following Gilroy, Bo Willimon, another unfortunate name, anyway, who helmed the political thriller House of Cards, will take the reins for the next three episodes. Willimon's experience, oh, that's just a humorous name. Willimon's experience in political dramas makes him the perfect choice for exploring the power struggles within the Rebel Alliance and the Galactic Empire. The third act... Uh, act, not act, the third arc will be penned by Dan Gilroy, Tony Gilroy's brother and an accomplished filmmaker who is best known for Nightcrawler. Uh, that's that Jake Gyllenhaal film, isn't it? Uh, it's nothing to do with the X-Men, uh, I don't think. Uh, finishing, because I've not seen it. Finishing off the season, Tom Bissell will write the final three episodes. Hang on. Oh, actually, it's in four parts, yes. Um, we'll write the final three episodes. Bissell has worked on critically acclaimed games like Gears of War and Uncharted 4. Gears of War 4 and Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. And now he's getting the fourth part of, <laughs> of that series. Is that in his contract? It must be. Uh, stay tuned. Good collider for more updates. Oh, is that it? Is that, is that the update? What, what was it? Um, oh, oh, yeah, so unexpected first look into the second season. It's a bloody... It's a, it's a cutout with him just standing there. Uh, looks like he's on Yavin, doesn't it? So, but I think we saw, did we see that in in Ando? Can't remember. No, we saw it in Rogue One. I can't remember. I don't think we saw it in Ando, did it? Oh, did we? Anyway, looks like Yavin, doesn't it? Yavin for the Rebel base. <sighs> yeah. So this is a pointless, bloody article, isn't it? But anyway, uh, no trailers, no clips, nothing. But. Uh, Anyway, but I'm looking forward to season two of Andor. It's going to be the only, the, the final season as well, isn't it? It's going to take us up to Rogue One. Uh, I've said before, it was it was originally supposed to be a five season, um, a five season uh, series, uh, with each season covering a year, building up to um, to Rogue One. But then they said, no, you're not getting five seasons. You're getting two, and your second season, you're going to have to get your four years left. Um, compacted into one season so hopefully it won't be as boring as season one although I didn't find it boring it was just drawn out um, but uh, anyway so so there we go that's why it's in four parts of three episodes each each three episode arc will cover a year and then it'll, it'll go to the next part but anyway so there we go don't know when it's coming out though I don't think we've any clues as to when it's coming out I don't think um Will it be next year or the year after? Don't know. But anyway, so there we go. Brazilian fans got a first look. That. I was thinking they were going to say there's, you know, they got shown in that, you know, a trailer or a clip or something like that from it. No, a cardboard cutout. A cardboard cutout of Cassian Andor with a trench coat on and some sort of waist ju- waist jacket, waist coat, whatever the hell you call it. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, very good. Right, right, we'll leave it there. Whatever. Right, so, thanks for watching, and wherever you are, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff. And wherever you are, look after each other, and until next time, I'll see you there.